Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, and if you've been watching my soft tech and chair videos, you may be wondering, what on earth am I doing with a chair that isn't my Aeron? Why have I betrayed the PC building community with an ROG laptop? Why does my table and room look familiar, but not really? And why am I wearing a hoodie in the tropics? All good questions, and I might answer some of them if you stick to the end of the video. Right now though, we need to get back on track and talk about this beauty of a chair sent to us by Son. This is the Time Life Eames chair replica, which I have been reviewing for the past 30 days. I have obsessed over anything made by Herman Miller, and I have never been able to afford the real deals. Thus, I've relied on quality replica furniture in the past. The only one that I bought for real and which I reviewed was the Aeron chair, which, spoiler alert, I love and miss dearly. You can catch that review up here. That is, of course, until this beauty arrived. While this chair was provided by Son, they had no say in the matter on how I reviewed the chair, nor has Hardware Sugar been compensated for this review. With that said, let's get into assembly. I'll be honest, that when I checked out their website, I was really impressed on the range of options and the pictures of their replica furniture. They look like top quality, which could easily fool someone not versed in the original pieces. This chair reclines like a champ. I feel like I'm suspended in the air. And the fact that it does this without a single creak or any other annoying mechanical sound is extremely satisfying. This is usually a good sign that the manufacturer has invested in quality material for the structure and safety of a chair. I was, however, disappointed at the unboxing experience and the assembly process. This, I must say, was the weakest part of my experience with the Time Life replica. The parts were all neatly laid out and nothing was missing. The instructions at first glance were simple enough to understand. However, when it came to attaching these back supports, I genuinely struggled. So much so that I stopped assembling the night it arrived and began again the day after. J and K are the exact same measurements. Because if you look at the instructions for number two, if you look at here, the, look at that screw. There should be a screw all the way near to the bottom part, but when you go to the next part of the instructions, that screw isn't so much the bottom part anymore. The instructions here don't indicate the zipper. The zipper would be a really good guide to showcase if uh, I'm doing the right orientation. I've already assembled this over and over in the back. To this day, it is unclear to me if these two parts are identical to one another or if they're, they're, are they interchangeable. If they are, then it shouldn't matter how I install them, but I struggle, I did. And the instructions aren't very clear on which one should go first or if it should matter. I reached out to Son and they shot me back out a really quick reply with an instructions video. I have assembled my fair share of chairs and if it was just not for this step, everything else would have been really smooth sailing. My effort, however, was rewarded when it all finally came beautifully together. The black leather on a steel minimal frame screams mid-century elegance. A Herman Miller replica chair just completes the look of my IKEA wooden countertop desk with black tech gear. One of the biggest considerations most people put into selecting a chair is comfort which I will talk about in the next part of this review. However, nowadays, it is possible to get that and elegance within the same budget. The look of a chair in your work setup is an opportunity to add a dash of inspiration to be more productive, similar to how a simple, inexpensive plant can add so much color and joy in a sunny apartment. Unlike a fully loaded Aeron chair, the appeal of the Time Life replica is to boast comfort through simplicity. It looks like a chair which would fit neatly in an architect's office, the softness of the leather on skin, and the natural wrinkles which form over time makes it more like a companion who ages and changes alongside you. Son boasts that this is made with top grain leather, but due to how this was packaged and the way how the leather reacts to use, this might be of a lesser grade leather. While I am not an expert when it comes to leather, my understanding is that top grain leather should not be so uniform in its shape. Such as this top grain leather sofa from Flex Steel, which came with an authenticity tag and even a leather swatch. Again, I am not an expert and I could be wrong, but the unboxing experience really should be improved by Son. And if it is top grain leather, little things like adding a swatch to show off the different colors and maybe a pamphlet highlighting how to detect it was top grain leather would be very helpful especially since this is not a cheap chair. Let's talk ergonomics and comfort. 
The first thing you might notice is that this does not have a headrest and there is no practical way to attach one without destroying the appeal of the Time Life chair. Herman Miller's philosophy is that headrests are not ergonomic, thus you don't need one. This is a highly divisive debate, which I will leave to another review. Nevertheless, what I can touch on is that my neck has not hurt and I'm genuinely enjoying every moment I get to sit on this chair. While the lack of a headrest might be a deal breaker for some, the streamlined look of not seeing a long neck poking out makes my desk setup more elegant. Even back home, I rarely use my Aeron headrest because I believe it destroys the look of the chair. When it comes to the leather, I constantly say that this is a problem for warmer climates and I still stand by that. Mesh chairs are superior when it comes to ventilation, however the feel of leather on skin with a comfortable climate feels like a half open sweater enveloping me on a cool day. The padding of the chair itself is quite comfortable and I have easily spent 3 hours straight sitting, not exactly healthy, in the time life without experiencing butt fatigue fatigue or soreness. The armrests are not adjustable. This is especially troublesome if you are not using a full-size keyboard like me, which may result in one arm barely staying on the armrests because it needs to reach further. This however is me nitpicking. Thankfully, this has not been a problem for me at all and the armrests are extremely well padded and feel premium to the touch. This however may be a problem for you depending on the height of your desk, if you are a smaller person, and if your keyboard is even smaller than mine. The purpose of adjustable armrests is to accommodate the various sizes of people and the specific task they will be doing. The recline of the time life is spectacular. There is no creaking at all when I recline. It is a very natural and luxurious experience to cradle oneself back and forth. Some may be terrified to be as adventurous as I am when it comes to maxing out the recline. However, I made sure to shoot a long video to assuage any fears you may have. Nothing beats putting one's feet on top of a table while you brainstorm for ideas. I want to point out however that there is only one option for recline and there is no way to lock a specific angle in place. Meaning you can either rock yourself back and forth at will or get rid of the entire recline entirely. As opposed to modern ergonomic chairs in which you usually have an option to use different levels of recline. Now we go into lumbar support. As you can see from here that I have strategically placed a pillow. I would much prefer to use it without the pillow because I feel like the design of the chair understood the importance of the angle needed to achieve optimal lumbar support. This is the reason why the pillows are not actually arranged like a wall but rather they are angled in order to support the small of your back. My problem is that it goes back to the armrests. If I want them leveled with that of my desk, I need to increase the height of my chair, which in turn lifts my feet off the ground. This can be solved by a leg rest. However, I very much prefer to instead just sit at the edge of the seat. Thus, the pillow is a way for me to sit closer to the edge to prevent my feet from dangling. Again, this may differ based on the size of each person. Now my feet are on the floor, but now the, the armrests are no longer leveled with that of my desk. So now, I, there is this, uh, there's added pressure now on my wrist. So I want it to be just like on the same level. And the only way to do that is if I bring up the height of the chair. In which case, if I'm sitting all the way back in the chair, The original Eames executive chair retails for a whopping $5,215. The Time Life chair from Son, however, presently retails for just $650. And to be honest, based on pictures, it is difficult to tell the difference. They seem identical in every way, except for maybe the quality of the leather. Only time will tell if the chair I have now will peel within two to three years. However, for most people, including myself, the price difference is just chasms away from what is possible for me to afford, making Sun really the only option available to me. In conclusion, if you love mid-century or minimalist furniture, then the Time Life chair from Sun presents a safe budget option which honors the original appeal while guaranteeing comfort and a stable base. Be sure, however, to take into consideration that the unboxing experience might originally feel disheartening and even an irritant considering how much the chair costs. But 
30 days after assembly, I am happy with the Time Life chair. It has added so much character to my temporary home away from home and makes me fondly think of the pieces I did leave behind, including the people who wait for me upon my return. Super special to Son Furniture for sending the Time Life chair for us to review. It is sort of a small dream of mine to experiment with this specific replica. I'll leave an affiliate link at the video description. Thank you again, Son, for reaching out to us. So, if you stayed until the end, I'm currently in Washington, D.C. and studying again for a short period of time. I will, however, be back home in a couple of months, and until then, I need to battle down the hatches and stow away my camera and focus on studying intellectual property law. I am, however, working on a number of videos talking about the kind of tech which goes into our classrooms here, and of course, my updated desk setup. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.